Hey guys, just a little uh, notice right here. I'm just gonna tell you I do apologize for the black bars on the sides. Uh, yeah, I accidentally recorded this video on my monitor's default resolution, which was uh, 144900, which basically should be 1610. And that's not generally what YouTube likes. YouTube likes either 43 or 169. So yeah, I do apologize. I just really couldn't be um, bothered re-recording for a third time. So yeah. Anyway, enjoy. Ivan vs. Dolphy in the public test server. I'm not sure if it's the Dolphy herself, but name Dolphy. Either way, uh, I'll just get into this match. I also have a note at the end as well. Enjoy. Hello and welcome everyone to this uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic uh, video. This is not going to be your average player vs. player match. This is actually going to be featuring the well, the newest or upcoming uh, expansion for the Old Republic. It is a free expansion under the name of, I believe, Galactic Starfighters. So, if you follow Star Wars. MMOs, then you know about SWG. I have an SWG background, so I f am fully aware of its space expansion, which is called Jump to Light Speed, which was a heavy emphasis expansion on the space aspect of the game. This is basically it for the Old Republic. So, as you can see behind me, behind my a public test server character, there is a ship console over here. You can see I've played at least one game and that's pretty much it. I've played only one game. So this is the ship interface or console for where you dabble with your galactic starfighters. So what you can immediately tell is quite a lot of things around this but the main thing we're going to focus on is just everything one by one. So in the ship section we have ships categorized under three classes we have the strike fighter which basically is your all around just normal starfighter it's that's pretty much all i can say about it we have the scout which tends to be more uh... lightly armored but very maneuverable more more mobile than the strike fighter obviously and the gunship gunship is at default not unlocked for you so yeah, you gotta work your way to unlocking that. There's only one type of the gunship as well, whereas the strike fighter and scout have two each. The gunship's basically more of a tanky, um, more beefy starfighter. Uh, I'm assuming it has artillery and long-range support, so that's generally the purpose of a gunship. I mean, you can immediately tell that. If you've played Star Conflict, it's very much like that. Star Conflict might have had a heavy influence and heavy influence on this particular expansion. So, yeah, if you're finding anything innovative about this, it's not really innovative at all. It's pretty much from Star Conflict. Components basically your upgradable um, weapons, armor, and utilities. Basically, you can purchase them through one of two con currencies, ship requisition, which tends to be more focused on uh, singular parts and sh just ship parts basically. Meanwhile, fleet requisition is things like ships itself and the crew that you can hire. So, yep, not much, not too complicated, I hope. Cosmetics is basically the cartel market of this particular feature. You can, I guess, purchase paint jobs and, ooh, I don't know, just just special effects, such as uh, the color of your be beams or something like that. It's not working too well, but oh well. This is in the public test server. Okay, we have the crew section, which is, I think, a little unique. You can choose whichever, I guess, crew to place on certain parts of your ship and they will provide you with some bonuses 
such as these passive abilities, and if they're in this co-pilot seat, which is the first one, they will provide you with an activatable ability. Pretty nice. It allows for a lot of customization, and if you haven't noticed, um, there is actually uh, class-specific co uh, companions that you can actually hire with fleet requisition. I'm not sure if these guys are unlocked if you have an uh, a thousand affection alt, but hopefully that will be clarified later on. Yep, that's pretty much it. The launch section is basically a summary of everything of your ship. I will be mainly playing on my scout ship, mainly because I prefer the faster combat. So let's just get into the queue. I probably should have done that because the queue times for midnight, especially in my time zone, not that great. So, I've only played one game, and what, from what I've seen, it seems to me like a very, very, s well, not that much, but a simplistic version of Star Conflict. Just, oh, it's a guild. I honestly thought they were asking for um, a group run, but apparently not. Okay, so, yeah, so from what I've seen, it's simplistic. Star Conflict ki kind of gameplay. Um, what else? The modes so far have only been released is pretty much just Domination. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. You can actually master uh, certain components of your ship. I probably should have shown over here. These upgrade trees over here, skill trees, I have no idea. Oh, Fleet Requisition. Never mind, I found out how. Um, so yeah. You can obviously convert um, requisition into fleet requisition. There's also a tutorial over here you can press that will send you to a phase for the tutorial. I have not done that because, you know, I'm pretty sure this is just straightforward. But for those that have not played Star Conflict or Jump to Light Speed SWG, you probably should try that. Queues are very long, I'm not sure where everyone is. There's actually a lot more people in the Republic fleet than there was like 20 minutes ago, so that's kind of surprising. As I was saying, uh... Actually, no. I will just... I'll just stop recording. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I was gonna stop recording and then start recording again when the queue pops, but apparently not. So the only mode for this particular feature right now is the domination mode, which is very, very similar. Or it makes it more similar to um, it makes it more similar to Star Conflict. So yeah. Um, another complaint I have is that the ships are not class specified, it's more faction specified, so each faction so far has only five. Okay, we are versing the Empire. Obviously there is no um, similar faction PvP. This is domination, so kills not really that mattered. Apparently there is someone called Delphi, so if that is actually the right Delphi, the infamous Delphi, I'm not, even, not really infamous, just very well known Delphi in the community, community. I might be screwed. Either way, let's just ready up. I select my scout. I need to check my sound preferences over here. I don't know how it sounds for you guys, but for me it sounds pretty loud. Oh, there we go. We're going to be jumping in. Okay. Movement speed is pretty much simple. There is no way to to stop at all. So the lowest speed when you press back is this. This is your default speed when you press nothing, and you can go up to top speed by just moving forward. You can also use your boosters by pressing the space bar, left click, shoot your lasers, and right click for your missiles. Now, as you can see on the left, we have this this orange bar, which is a weapons capacitor so there is a limit on how much you can actually shoot before shooting again it's basically you know preventing spammers 
and just people who just hold down the left mouse button. Okay, it does not look good for us right now. They've captured A and B, so I'm going to head to A right now. No one has captured C yet, which is not that... Um, which is not... not good. Okay, I'm going to chase after this guy. Um, I, I usually play on a dual monitor, but apparently uh, Bio has said that there seems to be a problem with dual monitor support as the mouse tends, uh, tends to get out of the f get out of your sc playing screen, so be careful about that. I've currently disabled my second monitor right now. Yikes, I have no idea. No idea who's shooting me right now. Yikes. Our ship. Ah, got destroyed. Not good. Um, yeah, let's just keep on joining in. This is not going great. It looks like the Empire is dominating, even in space. Uh, okay, gotta go to, go to C. So, from what I've seen so far, it's very hard to capture points if they've already been captured. Unlike Star Conf... Well, I'm not sure if Star Conflict's difficulty, but it seems to be harder than that. There are pretty much just three turrets that continuously spawn as the point is in one's control. And then, I have no idea how you control it. I assume you just... Strike again. Uh, what is it? I assume you just fly next to it. You just go after this guy. You're obviously more maneuverable if you're at low speeds because of the momentum, physics and all that. Sustaining damage. Will I be able to get him? I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Oh! Oh, that was a barrier for some reason. <laughs> Never mind. This is not going good. Not as great as my first game, honestly. Uh, it seems the Republic's just so discoordinated. Just everywhere. I'm not... I don't like it. Maybe I should try the Empire sometime, but... From what I've, from what I've seen... Uh, there's a lot of people that don't know how to play this mode. And I, I see that as a problem. Most people would want a team deathmatch instead of something like this, an objective-based um, game mode, which I have no idea why Bioware is so fixated on. Why do they want? Why do they want an objective mode when they can obviously benefit more from a PvP-oriented uh, game type? Uh oh, am I being targeted somewhere? Or? Nope. Wow, where is the person? There he is. Again, what what is the point of me chasing this guy if I'm not capturing B point? Let's just go after this. Yes, a direct hit. Let's just keep on battering against this thing. There, destroyed turret, and now we are just capturing the point. There's no defender, so it should be a piece of cake. Oh, there is defender, so I cannot actually contest this thing. Uh-oh. Let me just pop what I have. Let's get that evasiveness. So the problem right now is that it's just very hard to take care of points that no longer belongs to you. Dolphy just killed me. <laughs> Damn. So yeah, this is the only problem that I see from this. It's it's that the domination of one team. It's very hard to come back from this. 
I mean, I can barely see many of these guys getting kills instead of getting killed, so... The game's gonna end soon. I'm just... Uh, there's just... I don't know. The Why did Bioware choose to make it domination instead of uh, team deathmatch or any kind of deathmatch? I have no idea. Yeah, not a great... Not a great match. Well... Yeah. Either way, that is going to be it. Sorry for the lack of skill from me, but... It was pretty horrible. I'll see you guys again next time. Hey, at least Dolphy dominated. I'll probably get a message. But, oh well. I'll see you guys then. Take care. Okay, so here's a note that I talked about in the beginning of the video. Just a couple of things I want to point out before I end this video officially. Number one, I mean, you can clearly see from this image that people can generally forego uh, the objectives and just go straight for the kills. This picture might not be the best representation, but yeah, I went for the objectives first and then killed later. And apparently I got top in both. It's not really great, but oh well. Uh, so this is generally what I'm, I'm the problem that I'm seeing from this particular mode so far unless Bioware releases a deathmatch before early access on 3rd of December uh, I'll keep you guys notified on that maybe I don't know maybe Dolphy might <laughs> um, second note I just want to show you the difference between how much credits you can get from a well played space PvP match and a well played normal PvP match. As you can see, 26k, that's a lot. That's a huge amount. That is kind of like four times the usual amount you get from a well played normal PvP match. I'll probably put up a similar image in ground PvP just to show the comparison. So that's generally what my thoughts are. So maybe Bio will change that, maybe they put that intentionally, I don't know. Uh, space PvP seems to be more quicker, so I can see a lot of people just playing this just to farm credits, which might be a little bad. Either way, this is going to be my final note. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll probably have more and better space content up very soon. Either way, I'll see you guys then. Uh, take care.